are going to be turning a railroad spike into a dagger. Uh, it's found steel. Uh, back in the day, steel would not go to waste. It was too expensive to make. So even if a piece broke, it would be reforged into something else. Uh, this is the forge. Uh, this is the blower. Basically, it's just charcoal. You can use charcoal. Uh, what I have here today is briquettes. You can use lump charcoal, or you can use um, what they call blacksmith's coal, which is anthracite from a mine. Just a source of air to blow additional air into there to get the fire hotter. This is a gear-driven uh, fan. Uh, fan wheel, flywheel that's just going to put more air in, and when you crank it, it puts, puts more air in, makes the fire hotter. Uh, first step in the process that we're going to do is uh, just, uh, my preference, is we're going to take the spike head and I'm going to bend it instead of 90 degrees, I'm going to bend it straight and kind of round it a little bit. It winds up looking a bit serpentine and it's the style that I like. scraping the glass off that's created as the sand and the charcoal melted. Attempt to not drive it into the steel. So do you have a feeling that if you went back, fell into a time machine and went back to the year 800, you'd be all set because you'd have a skill that people could use? I'd have a starting of a skill. There's a lot more to it than what I do here. Uh, I don't know how to make the steel. Uh, a lot of times they would have to smelt their own steel. Uh, sometimes, depending on what era, make their own charcoal. Uh, not everybody had access to a market. Okay, so I've gotten the head from the 90 degree angle back to mostly straight. It's a little off center to try to counterbalance the thicker part here without here, just to try to maintain some form of balance. It's been straightened out, rounded a bit. Now the next step is I want to thin out the area right behind the head to make a handle to put a twist in because that's a little bit larger than I like. Narrowed the piece is going to be the handle down a bit, shaped the head to my liking, in the process now of flattening the square portion of the spike so I can begin to start to do the edging after that, uh, trying to keep it symmetrical and somewhat shaped so that I can begin to work the edges and, and leave the center area raised for support. It's called the diamond core. Needs a little bit of straightening out. It's got a twist for a handle. Finish flattening out the blade. Do some edging. 